Hey guys, I just uh, wanted to show a short clip of a video um, of how to adjust the height on a Riften activity chair because my previous videos on how to adjust a Riften activity chair didn't really include how to adjust the height of the backrest. Um, the height of the headrest can be adjusted right here by pressing this white button right below the headrest. The headrest itself has a lot of adjustability, which I think I went over in another video, but this adjusts the angle up and down of the headrest, this top knob, and this bottom knob adjusts the, uh, also the angle of the headrest, um, but more of the headrest on the, in relation to the backrest. So how we adjust the height for the backrest is that there's this little lever, and this is a release lever. And of course, this should be done without the child or student in the chair. It kind of goes without saying, but sometimes there are times where I do adjust with the child in the chair and I just have to make sure I have a second set of hands to hold the child steady and to also make sure that they don't feel uncomfortable with that. Um, it might feel uncomfortable to have your chair being adjusted behind you, not knowing if it's you're gonna fall backwards. So this little lever actually is connected to some teeth that are um, that end up pushing into certain areas along here, almost like how you adjust a crutch pole. So by clicking the lever down, it actually brings the teeth inward, which allows them to slide out of the locking mechanism. Um, so you have to pull the lever down and lift. Um, if you're gonna adjust it higher, it actually comes down really fast if you um, don't hold it up underneath the chair um, and allow it to come down. If there's a person in it, it actually does kind of slow the descent of the chair, but still um, you really do kind of need to just be careful of that. There's intervals of locking maybe every inch or so, so it can raise about an inch to a half an inch every time you raise it. Um, the only thing is that once you get to that top notch, you're just about done with seat height. So you won't be able to come up any higher. And in fact, you can actually, in some cases, and in the really small chairs, you can pull the seat right out of it, which you definitely don't wanna do with a child in it. Um, but this is how you would bring the seat height up on a student that maybe the shoulders are getting up a little uh, higher than the backrest. If you have the child fully supported, you should have the top of the shoulders pretty much even with the backrest. They shouldn't be too far below the backrest and they shouldn't be too high above the backrest. And the reason for that is because when you have the shoulder straps coming over, if you have a child that needs a chest harness, then you want the pull of the chest harness to be back and not up into their neck. And if the chair is up too high, then the pull of the harness is more upwards instead of shoulders back. Um, and then if the seat is too low on the child and the shoulder is up here, then you kind of almost have a feeling like you have a backpack sitting on you because the pull of the shoulder harness is now really sitting hard on top of that shoulder joint that's sitting right up here. And it does kind of dig in. And if you've got a bony kid, it can be really uncomfortable. So that's how to adjust the height of a Riften Activity Chair backrest. Really simple. Once you get it into the place that you want it, you simply just release the lever. So once you, you get it moving, and then you move your hand to get, let it get into place. And that's how it's done.